Hey, family. Hey, 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 hey. Good morning to you. Good afternoon. Good evening. Whatever side of the diaspora that you may be on, welcome to the mental house with me, your illustrious host, Khadija. Um, it's real, real, real important that we understand what these demonic energies are doing uh, right now that the Afghanistan, the Afghanistan um, war is basically over. We lost, in case you guys want to know, just like in Vietnam. We gave trillions of dollars and thousands of American lives in conflict, and all we're getting back is a deluge of Afghan refugees. These are the people who lost their country to the Taliban are, and are completely alien to the historic American nation. Yet, the political establishment wants them um, all to come here. It's the consensus now on Capitol Hill, both Democrat and Republicans. A few brave voices oppose it, but not enough. If America... To say nothing of the GOP and uh, gap it, it is to survive, then that means people got to speak up. Enough is enough. Now, you um, again, we talked about in the prior video, um, beating ref, uh, Haitian refugees, children locked at the border. Um, that you didn't, you don't mind putting painting walls black and putting spice spikes up and killing them when they're black and brown bodies. And now you want to bring these people over here when you have so many so many ills that we got to work out over here with the uh, situation that's going on. These refugees are already starting to come here and to other countries throughout the West. Both Canada and the UK have promised to take in 20,000 the number for the U.S. is still being determined. The Pentagon plans to resettle at least 22,000 Afghans uh, with special immigrant visas. 2,000 have been flown to the U.S. since July prior to the collapse of the Afghan government. And there was a discussion of taking in anywhere from 20,000 to 100,000 Afghans. Did y'all hear what I said? Did you hear me? <laughs> Interesting uh, enough, President Biden is surprisingly reluctant to take in a massive amount of refugees. According to the Reuters, he fears that there will be a potential blowback and will prefer if they be resettled in other countries. And that's exactly right. People that share their ideology, people that share um, where they're comfortable, that speak maybe um, Arabic, maybe that, um, oh, no, 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 you know, uh, you know, I, I just don't understand the, the meaning of this. But sources tell Watcher that transferring the refugees to other countries is not likely to happen. Muslim countries such as Kuwait don't want them. Instead, sources say that the plan is to uh, get to a point where thousands of Migrants can be processed per day. What about Takistan and some other um, uh, uh, country that's right next to them? What is it? Taharazan, uh, not Tahara, Tahakistan. Put them there. The White House realized this is a bad idea politically, and it is powerless to resist the demands of leftist elites. I mean, based in the media. Child, this is a mess. They don't, uh-uh. Many of the arguments, this is just my opinion now, y'all. Please share yours because I don't know. It seems like, again, we're getting pushed further and further and further down that rabbit hole. So far that we're going to be extinct. And this is what they're doing and we just sitting back watching it. Many of the arguments they are using are no different from the open borders crowd. Thus, one of the new heroes to conservative fans of Afghan settlement, resettlement is former CIA 
uh, analyst Matt Zeller. He became a hit with conservatives after he attacked Biden over the withdrawal on MSNBC. He has been since become one of the leading voices, one of the leading voices in for letting tens of thousands of Afghans in America. Look at these hypocrites. Hey, let's look. In his, this viral clip, he said we need to take in at least 86,000 Afghan allies. Um, what about black people? What about what about us? Who've been allies, who've been beaten by you, who took had our language and mores. Uh, 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 you turned us upside down, inside out, taking everything from us, our land our religion, our language, and made us second-class citizens. And now you got the nerve of talking about bringing, you, you have a duty to help these folks? You got, this has got to be some kind of, you know, listen, this is so sick. These people, they don't, they don't understand. They're just too crazy. Many of the arguments they're using are no different from the um again open borders crowd. Most Republicans and conservatives republic publicists who support the migrant flood don't go as far as Zeller calling in for they call for legal sanctions against dissenters, uh, but they do offer similarly uh asinine arguments. Oh my goodness. Um <laughs> uh, the the cuck servant never trumper, Eric. Erickson said that the Bible calls on us to take in legions of refugees and to reuse, refuse that leads to civilization decline. What? This uh, conservative never trumper Eric Erickson said that the Bible calls on us to take in legions of refugees and to refuse that leads to civilizational decline. Okay, yes, unless they're blacks, right? Unless they're black people, you know, I mean, come on. Tucker Carlson said we should not be resettling Afghan refugees before rescuing American citizens. Okay, I never thought I'd be agreeing with these people. He points out that they've brought a lot of crime wherever they settle in Europe, and they share little in common with the average Americans. Well, you won't even do by right by the very first original sin. And now this stuff has gotten out of hand. Um, this uh, They said that some of these people, allies that the Taliban used for child sex, sex slaves as a way of, to catch and kill officials, uh, they use boy sex slaves to assassinate lusty officials. And you won't have some of them over here. I mean, the politically incorrect fact is that a vast majority of Afghans also support the stoning of adulterers and Sharia law. But our pundits and political promise us that they can become true Americans. Well, I don't know about all that, but. Um, they do have some, um, uh, you know, ways and mores, just like the African did, that you stripped. This just seems like a bad situation to me. I want to know what y'all think. What do y'all think? Do you think these people should be coming over here getting asylum before we do? Do you think, I mean, and they might say, okay, I don't want to uh, use my tax dollars for this. I really don't. Not unless you deal with what we already, the crisis that we already have over here. First of all, and foremost, what y'all think? I want to know. I got to know. Ugh. But, because I really do agree. They're growing, there is a growing hostility to Afghan refugees. And it's going to divide this country even further. It's going to divide it even further than it already is. And that's something to ponder, something to consider. I'll see you.